Glen Whelan has signed for Aston Villa and it marks the end of an era for the old guard of Stoke City following John Walter's departure to Burnley. Glen Whelan signed on the 30th of January with some classic last minute business from Tony Pulis for a small fee of 500k from Sheffield Wednesday. His first start for Stoke came in a 4-2 win against Wolves at Molyneux and his first goal against Crystal Palace in a 2-1 home defeat. That season was however one for joy as we finished second in the championship and gained automatic promotion to the Premier League for the first time in the club's history. After a tough first half season in the Premier League, Glenn was touted to remove away from the club, but which came to epitomise the man. He never moaned, revealed he wanted to stay and fought for his place. He then of course did fight his way back into the Stoke City side and became an integral figure in keeping the potters up. And no Stoke City fan will ever forget that volley against his new club, Aston Villa. Another notable moment of Glenn's time at Stoke is of course the goal at Tottenham in the 2009-2010 season which earned the club at a win which few predicted at White Hart Lane. Wheeling was a key man in TP's side which made history by reaching the FA Cup final and then in the following season's Europa League campaign he scored a rare European goal against FC Tun. As TP left and Mark Hughes came in there was still no change, he opted to fight for his place and of course won it making 36 appearances, saying that the 2013-14 season was his best for the club. In the remainder of his time at the club, he went on to be a constant cog in the Stoke City machine, making another 101 appearances in three seasons. Described as an unsung hero by his teammates not only on the club stage but the international stage, it's testament to the man who got on and did his job. Stoke have so many times tried to bring in central midfielders as an upgrade to Glen Wheeler, but he just upgraded himself. Spending nine and a half years at the club, it's a great shame that Whelan will just miss out on a testimonial. If anyone from the club is listening, can we please give him one so we can give him a proper send-off? After 338 appearances and eight goals, thanks for everything at Stoke City Glen, and good luck in the rest of your career. Everybody needs a Whelan in the middle.